German Chancellor Angela Merkel has reiterated her commitment to economic sanctions on Russia because of its destabilization of Ukraine. Her comments came at a meeting with Ukrainian Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk in Berlin on Thursday as the Ukrainian Defense Ministry reported that 7,500 Russian troops still remain on Ukrainian territory. These sanctions can only be lifted once the causes are removed. And the cause, the annexation of Crimea, makes it clear that these sanctions can only be lifted if we see progress with Crimea. I have little hope on that front. The other sanctions were introduced in response to to the intervention in eastern Ukraine. Fulfilling the entire Minsk agreement is the way to bring about a reversal of sanctions here. The entire Minsk agreement must be implemented before we can say that these sanctions can be lifted. The Minsk agreement was signed last year in September by Ukraine and Russia. It calls for a withdrawal of Russian troops from East Ukraine, where the Kremlin has been supporting an insurgency for several months. It also includes a ceasefire and an agreement by both sides to withdraw heavy weaponry. Ukraine says Russia has not fulfilled its side of the agreement, including the all-important condition that Ukraine must regain control of its borders. The fate of the Minsk deal would likely be the key talking point at a meeting of leaders from Ukraine, Russia, France and Germany, which is planned for later this month in Kazakhstan's capital, Astana. But Merkel says it will only become clear in the coming days if the proposed meeting will take place. The Minsk agreement can be the basis for restoring Ukraine's territorial integrity if all its contents are fulfilled. It's still a difficult path, but it's possible. That's why we need visible progress, but not just in one point. Rather, the Minsk agreement must be implemented in all its points. A meeting in Astana will not lead to all points being fulfilled the next day. Russia annexed Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula last March, sending troops into the Black Sea territory following mass demonstrations in Ukrainian capital Kiev, which brought a pro-EU government to power. Merkel's Germany has since then been a leading force within the EU for sanctions on Russia.